Let's talk about the biology of what's going on here and exactly mm -hmm. how you're getting the results from the products involved. Mm -hmm. Well, we're harnessing uh, wild algae, um, not the bioengineered kind that we hear about in, in uh, um, biofuel production, but uh, basically just using the pond scum that's growing out there naturally. And it turns out that these algae are actually very efficient at removing nutrients from water. So what we're after is sort of a um, uh, closing the loop between society's production of wastes and need for resources. So the algae are very efficient at taking nutrient pollution out of the water and what we'd like to do with that is repackage those nutrients and bring them back where they belong onto soils uh, and in the process produce uh, fuels from the algal biomass. What is the actual product here? What, what, had, what would you label it and how would it go toward mm -hmm. uh, energy production? Well, there are a couple of possibilities, and that's part of the research program that we and others are, are doing. Um, algae produce large uh, quantities of biomass, some of which can go as oil into biodiesel, for example. Others can be fermented into ethanol or butanol, another kind of alcohol that can be burned. Um, it can be digested uh, into natural gas to produce electricity. Uh, these are all possibilities, and that depends on the, the type of algae you have and what its oil content is and so on. Um, but then also the algae are uh, taking nutrients out of the water to help them grow. And once you've removed that organic material that goes into oil or fuel, the nutrients left over are potentially useful as an organic fertilizer. Now Carl was talking, Emmett, about the fact that this is, is carbon neutral as it is right now mm -hmm. in terms of the conversion process here. Mm -hmm. But to get to uh, some form of energy, it mm -hmm. will be. It sounds like it will be energy intensive, whether mm -hmm. it's a blending process or a refining process. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Well, there will certainly be energy involved in the processing mm -hmm. phase. There, there has not yet been um, a formal economic analysis, a life cycle assessment of that. Um, but what is known so far is that it looks um, relatively good compared with some other possibilities, um, largely because the productivity of algae is so high relative to other biofuel crops such as uh, corn and so on. Mm -hmm. What's the advantage of this naturally occurring algae versus synthetic? I think that Solazine mm -hmm. has something like 4,000 mm -hmm. strains in right. its labs right, right now. I know some of the other private companies mm -hmm. have, have numbers that are, if not equal to, mm -hmm. similar. Mm -hmm. Why go all natural? Well, th those um, specially designed algae will probably always be better in terms of their content of oil. Um, what's, what's the advantage of our approach with the wild algae is that it can be done anywhere. If you build it, they will come. You know, if you put something in the water, they'll grow on it. Uh, and that also, that couples the fuel production to reduction of pollution in the water. And that can't be done, of course, when you have the algae in a bioreactor. Um, and the other, the other part of it is, in, in addition to cleaning up the pollution, is that we're using uh, nutrients that are already in the water, and so we don't have to fertilize them. Okay. Those are the main advantages. Okay. Uh, so where does this go? Where do you, how, how, how big can you envision this, this getting? Well, we can envision it being very large. Um, whether it will get there uh, you know, depends on a number of research questions that we're still working on. But the, uh, the good news is that this general approach of using attached algae to take nutrients out of the water has been used on the scale of, of uh, acres before um, in freshwater ways. And um, the, the link that has not been made so far is uh, turning it into fuel. And so that's where a lot of the, the real cutting edge research is, is finding out what is the most appropriate fuel that, that can come out of this biomass.